Dursey down the wing. Kopitar right on. Big rebound from Talbot. Kopitar picks it up in the low slot. Gives it back to Dursey. A fake, a shot. Karams wide open for Matt Roy to pounce. Matt Roy picks up the rebound and stashes it home. The Kings take an early lead 95 seconds into the game. I was talking about the coverage for the Kings. What happens here, because of the shot rebound, there's a breakdown for the centers. They have everything in control. Keep an eye top of the screen. Look at Matt Roy. He's just kind of watching. He's watching. The cycle continues. Now he goes down. As soon as Kopitar is in a position to cover up for Matt Roy, that's where the cycle turns around. And that's when Matt Roy says, I've got to go down low. When he does so, he really changes up the coverage for the centers. The centers do not pick him up. He looks over the course of the night. Here he goes. Alex will receive that outlet feed from Adrian Kempe off the far boards. Battle his way down to the goal line. I follow still with a puck passing to Blake Lazan off the bench. No look feed down to the doorstep. They score! And the Kings have a 2 0 lead. Mikey Anderson adds to the defenseman scoring party in the early going here. It's 2 0 LA. I have follow when he gets the puck about the red line, he takes it deep. There was no one with him. No one at all. Watch the pass off the boards. He gets it. The Kings go into a change here. Look at that. There's no one with I have follow, but he's able to keep it alive long enough. He's able to just wait till reinforcements come. Then the fake shot pass by Lazat right down the middle. And for the second time, a Kings defenseman finds their way open. Again, not control. Puck possession. Hold on. And just because you have all that time with the puck, all that time with the puck, guys do get open. 